Hi, I'm Claire Rosso. I am the CEO of ISC Squared, and I'm here today to talk about three ways to retain women in the cybersecurity profession. So here's the good news. Organizations across the globe have demonstrated commitment and made strides to bringing more women into the profession. However, women only make up about 25% of the cybersecurity workforce in the US and far less in other countries. And while recruitment is critical, a major and more urgent issue is retaining women in security. On a percentage basis, women leave the profession at higher rates than men, and this has to stop. So here are three things you can do. Number one, mentorship. Women who have access to mentors and leadership programs report feeling valued in their roles and more likely to be successful. However, our research also tell us, tells us that many women lack these opportunities, which is a significant roadblock for those seeking advancement into managerial or executive roles. So this is what I say, to quote Shirley Chisholm, who was the first African-American female elected to US Congress, they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair, create opportunities. If your organization doesn't have a formal mentorship program, seek out a mentor. Informal mentorship offers an excellent vehicle for candid conversations about career advancement and dealing with workplace challenges. Personally, I've never been a part of a formal mentorship program. I'm sort of a product of DIY mentorship. I've always brought a tremendous amount of curiosity to the workplace, which has allowed me to learn from others at all levels of the organization, thus developing my own informal network of mentors. And this really, it's really simple. This is how I do it. I ask people questions. I ask about their experience. I ask advice on how to navigate uncharted waters or handle a challenge. I ask their opinions about new ideas. I ask, and candidly, I think that's the secret sauce. Show interest in others and talk to people at work, at professional events, in your online communities, talk. All right, idea number two, commit to developing yourself and others. We all know that to be successful in this dynamic profession, cybersecurity professionals must commit to lifelong learning. And our research shows us that organizations that prioritize their cybersecurity team's personal and professional development not only improve their overall cybersecurity posture and productivity, but they also build loyalty and enhance retention. And as women in the profession, we must lift as we climb, reach out to others who are early in their careers. There's a truism in the diversity, equity, and inclusion space, and that is you cannot be what you cannot see. We must pave the way. It's vital to create opportunities for developing and networking with other women be visible on how you got to where you are and how you achieved your career goals. All right, number three, we must address bias. The primary reason people leave their jobs is due to lack of career progression opportunity. Organizations that invest in resources to create inclusive environments and develop clear guidance on advancing employees will stay a step ahead of their competition and simultaneously motivate and retain their workforce. This practice has to include ensuring equity in the areas of performance reviews, pay, and promotions. I know it sounds easy, but it's not. Let's face it, the profession has reputational damage and needs to address head on the unconscious bias that's getting in the way of creating equitable and inclusive practices. It starts with awareness, because we all have bias, and conversations. Start that conversation today. So let's recap. Where are three key ways that we can retain women within the cybersecurity profession? The first is mentorship. 
The second is a commitment to developing yourself and others. And the third is addressing bias. Investing in your people should be the top priority of all employers. It reaps reward over and over. We have tools and resources to help you do it. Go check out the ISC Squared Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Resource Center at isc2.org forward slash DEI. Thank you.